Detective Jokic. Doctor, we think that Harry Rush's partner's inside. His picture was on the 6 o'clock news. Somebody called in and said that they saw him coming in and out of the top floor loft. He's up there now? We're about to find out. We had an officer on the floor below said he heard voices and footsteps coming from the loft above. What if it's your killer? He's contagious. Everybody here is gloved. I'm going to need you to wear a vest because he's armed. OK. All right, let's move in. We're gonna need animal control in the Bronx Zoo. dealing with three very sick people all with an aggressive and contagious illness probably viral symptoms high fever myalgia headache nausea upper respiratory distress and conjunctival infection this thing hits everywhere at once any of them traveled to tropics recently as in malaria or typhoid harry rush in the middle served in iraq but he tested negative wait a minute he's army was he went awol a couple of months ago so if he survives this he's gonna wind up in a brick or jail cops want him too it's a nice guy oh yeah the guy on the left, Thomas McDonald, stockbroker Wall Street type, he came in last, but he's furthest along. He presented with a macular papular rash this morning. If we're getting new patients, this disease is spreading. And so far, McDonald doesn't seem to have any discernible connection with the others. So the other two are linked? The guy on the right, Carlos Nieto, is paramedic. He brought in Rush, the army deserter. We think that Carlos contracted the disease from him. How'd they cross paths? Rush and his partner held up this jewelry store. His partner was wounded, and he murdered the owner. He escaped, and Rush was captured. Well, if Rush got the paramedic sick, then his partner is sick. Rush won't talk to the police, but he did tell Connor that he and his partner have the same symptoms. Right elevators down the left. No, they're just leaving now. Bronx Zoo Health Center. No, the vet will meet you there. Believe it or not, that was my first lime. Where's he going? Bronx Zoo for inspection. The lime may be the source of our disease and might be carrying a vector-borne parasite. Oh, now you're just showing off. Animals can host parasites. They can transmit the disease. Obviously, this guy was not your shooter. Yeah. This guy was African-American, and our shooter's Caucasian, so the shooter's still out there. So who's this guy? DMV says he's Michael Banks. We ran a background on him. He runs an import-export company. He looks pretty respectable on paper. You run across a lot of respectable guys who keep wild animals and are friends with killers? 
Like I said, on paper. You recognize this man, Harry? What the? It's the late Michael Banks, or what's left to him. You want to know where the rest of him is? It's in the gut of his pet lion. Banks was high end, so I'm figuring that he fenced whatever you and your partner stole. I've never heard of him. Detective, I know Michael Banks. You knew this guy? I had lunch last week, week before. How well did you know him? Oh, not very. I just became his broker. All right, I'm going to need all the records that you have on him, OK? Detective, McDonald got the disease from Banks. Carlos got it from Rush. <coughs> Harry, how do you fit into this puzzle, huh? It's just you and your partner now. He's the one that pulled the trigger. He's the one that we want. I can get you a deal. What are you doing, man? Is he, is he your, your boyfriend or something? Screw you. Your buddy left you behind. Take the deal. He's an idiot, Yokus. He's obviously protecting someone. Harry, Banks' blood is sick, just like yours and your partner's. So the more we know about you, the better chance we have of figuring out what this is and treating you. All right, Harry, have it your way. I'll just wait for your partner's body to show up. Are you saying this thing's going to kill me? Looks that way. Look, we don't know what this is yet. Good doc, bad cop, get your story straight. Am I gonna die or not? <sighs> Should have known. You're NIH? Yes. Have you made a diagnosis yet? I'm not a doctor. I uh, handle logistics. I'm Eva Rossi. Hi. My name is Holly Levine. I just came to check on Carlos. Boyfriend? Sometimes. I'm not used to being on the side of things. Yeah, that was a nice bedside manner. I'm not here to make him feel better. I'm here to get information. Which you didn't. Don't tell me how to do my job. Then don't do mine. You don't tell a patient he's dying when I haven't even made a diagnosis Detective yet. Detective Yokus, Carlos is dying? Holly, we don't know anything yet. Connor, the paramedics just brought in another patient. Same disease. Hold on, back up, back up, back up. Hey. Okay. Anyone handling this patient, masks and double gloves. Anyone who's had contact with this patient, see Dr. McCabe over there. And tend to before bringing her into the building. Now listen, I don't want anyone touching this patient without NIH supervision, okay? Good. Only ID she had on her was a US passport. Charlotte Winston officer said she collapsed in a cab. All right. Impound it and bring the driver in for testing. Miles, don't touch anything without gloves, a gown, and protective eye gear. Same precautions with the other three patients. Mask, guys, mask. Everybody Connor. Stephen, I just finished with the lion. He's clean. No parasites or sign of disease. I know. He's not the source of the infection. Well, how can you be sure? Because I just brought in another patient bleeding out. We're looking at some form of hemorrhagic fever. My god. Natalie, just get back here as soon as you can. How's that Connor? She's gone. There was nothing we could do. What the hell are we dealing with here? This was in Charlotte Winston's blood. Test showed us Marburg. Marburg? What is that? A filovirus, a more virulent form of hemorrhagic fever. I've never seen anything like this. How's it progress? Onset occurs two to five days after exposure. The first signs are fever, chills, headaches, and welts. Rashes appear. Pancreas becomes inflamed, liver fails, and then the hemorrhaging starts. Hemorrhaging from where? Everywhere. Even pores of the skin. Organs liquefy, patients go into shock, bleeds out, and dies. There's no known cure. 30% kill rate. What determines who survives? It's luck of the draw. Health, body chemistry, genes. There's no way to know. So Carlos, Rush, and McDonald will have this? And the killer you're looking for, Rush's partner. So we're not just searching for a murder suspect? No. We're all trying to stop a biological time bomb.
My theory, and right now it's only a theory, is that Michael Banks, the shooter, Rush and Charlotte, were somehow connected on a personal level. Well, what makes you think Charlotte was involved with two criminals? Because she didn't have any credit cards and her only ID was a passport, and she had a lot of cash. I see what you mean. So I'm thinking if we can figure out how these guys are all connected, I can find my killer, and you guys can stop your disease from spreading. Right now, we're searching Michael Banks' apartment. We're going through his financial records from McDonald's office, business ledgers, anything that we can follow with a paper trail. What about the dead woman's passport? Yeah, I asked INS to run a check on that forthwith. That's cop talk for I need it yesterday. Now we're showing off. All right, thanks. Keep me posted. What about McDonald? He just met Rush's partner once. Bad luck. One drop of saliva could get him sick. How does an African disease break out in New York City? For an infected animal, probably a primate. Well, I'll check university labs, circuses, pet stores. Good. Could also be an infected person arriving from Africa. I'll contact immigration. Have them contact everyone who arrived from Africa in the last 10 days. What about the level four labs? Some of them study the Marburg virus. Good idea. Someone working inside a lab could have gotten infected, carried it outside. All right, I'll check the tri-state area. That's just your basic investigative cop work. We're giving them all ribavirin, an antiviral that's had some success curing related hemorrhagics. I can't believe this is happening. So you catch Marburg how? Blood, body fluids, sexual contact. Sexual contact? When was the last time you two had intercourse, Holly? The other night, after we got back together. Am I? The antibodies won't show up until you start to show symptoms. All right, so uh, when are we going to know if Carlos is going to, I mean, if he starts bleeding? He could still pull through. The bleeding could stop. Look, he's not that far along, Holly. All right, I need to talk to him. Is that okay? Sure. I'll get you the number for the ICU. You okay, Holly? Yeah, fine. How about you? I felt better. <laughs> You're gonna beat this, Carlos. I know it. Ollie, what I have, you could... I know. They told me. So far, you don't have a headache or chills, right? Right. Just scared. I love you. Me too. Connor. Charlotte Winston's passport is a fake. Fake? Yeah, it's a high-end job. Somebody paid a lot of money for it. Well, what does that mean? It means she's got money or she's got money behind her. She's probably into something bad, like I suspected. Two criminals with the same disease she has? Yeah, I think she knew both Rush and his partner. I'm gonna come back down there and re-interview Rush. No, 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 no. I'll talk to Rush. You don't know how to interview a suspect. Well, see, now that's the problem. You'll treat him like one. What, as opposed to the upstanding citizen that we know he is? No, as opposed to a patient I might be able to coax into opening up. Look, Doc, this isn't an encounter group. The guy's gonna play you like a violin. Charlotte Winston, never heard of her. Mr. McDonald, is she a client? Office worker, maybe? How about you? No, never heard the name. Was she sick? She was. She died last night from what you three have. You no, know, you came to cheer us up. No, I came here to tell you what I know. Get the hell with what you know. How about doing something? Look, finding out how Charlotte Winston got infected might help us stop this thing from spreading all over New York. So if you know who she was, just tell me. Hey, jackass. This isn't just about you. Look, I'm not a cop. I'm talking to you as a doctor. What, are you protecting somebody? Who? The guy who left you behind? Is he worth thousands of lives? because that's what's at stake here. You're gonna rot in hell, you selfish son of a bitch.
Hey. Hey. I found something. Good, because I'm starting to get why Yokus wants a steamroller, Harry Rush. All right, there's a local lab that studies the Marburg virus. Streamwood Pharmaceuticals in Bayon. Level four containment. All right, get over there. See if they've had any accidents. See if anyone's sick. All right, I talked to the manager already. Charlotte Winston worked there until two weeks ago. Like I said on the phone, Marburg didn't come from us. We have strict procedures. Charlotte worked here, so procedures are not. I say that makes the odds pretty good that it started. Well, I don't know how. Anyway, I'm sorry about Charlotte. How well did you know her, Mr. Finch? Not well at all. She kept to herself, not real social. What was her job? Pretty low level computer data entries. So she never handled vials? No. And nobody gets near them without clearance. Do you have any idea the gauntlet they run every day? Airlocks, positive pressure suits, decontamination showers. I mean, you don't just waltz in. So if it's so dangerous, why even deal with this stuff? Marburg's worth its weight in gold, Mr. Powell. Any lethal virus is a potential weapon in the wrong hands. Any other areas where the virus is handled? We use monkeys as hosts when we run experiments, but uh, you see, it's another secured area. So you're sure Charlotte never accessed the animals? Positive. What do you store to Marburg when it's not being used? Well, come on, it's upstairs. Marburg vials are stored in that freezer. How do you gain access? Key cards kept in a locked drawer. Only a few of us have access. And we have a hidden surveillance camera aimed at it 24-7. All right, I need to review those tapes. Of course. Also, I need you to inventory the vials. Now. Rush refuses to tell us anything, so Charlotte's body has to. The organs aren't going to tell us much. There's nothing left of them. Looks like her insides just exploded. If you get blood on your gown, you need to stop and clean up. This stuff is too dangerous to take any chances with. Absolutely. And now, look at this. She was pregnant. The size of the fetus, it looks like eight weeks. This is gonna shake things up. We should test every patient's DNA, including the shooter, see if we can find a connection Yokus was talking about. What about Michael Banks, the lion nut? Yeah, him too. Got plenty of his blood. Well, I found an old surgery here. Like a thyroid. Oh, the staples are still in. Good catch. If we find out where the surgery took place, maybe we can find out where she's from. Staples should help. Locally manufactured? Most of the time. All right, get this over to the FBI. Have them do a metallurgic breakdown, see if we can ID the manufacturer. And Miles, tell them we need it forthwith. Yeah. How many vials are missing? Just one. Just? Poor choice of words. I think you found your source. Please continue to hunt this man, the suspect in a robbery murder. If anyone has information on his whereabouts, call the number at the bottom of the screen immediately. Local authorities describe him as a Caucasian of medium build. Approximately mm, I think it's not every 30 minutes. They must really be worried. They are. This thing is so lethal. I mean, Carlos could be fine, and you might not have contracted it. It's okay, Eva. I know what we're up against. Healing crystals. Can someone give these to Carlos? You never know. Hey, I collect lucky pennies. Is there anybody I can call? Maybe his parents? Oh, no. Carlos just has me in his uh, roomie. He was raised in foster care. 
doesn't trust permanence. We get close, he pulls away. Yeah, that's normal for somebody raised like that. You start caring about someone and they leave. Needs more volume. Yeah. Increases pressure. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. BP's falling. Charge the defibrillator. That's fine. There you go. Hey, sister. Second ball is exploding. Should we start compressions? There's no point. He's gone. Same, man. We got a killer bug. My luck, I die, you walk out of here. Hey, Carlos. What? You think it hurts when you start bleeding? Why'd you do it? Of that store? Dessert. What do you care? I was a medic in the Marines. Deserting our unit was as low as it got. I was in Iraq for 18 months. Survived it somehow. I figured if I went back for a second tour, my luck would run out. Guess you should have gone after all. Looks like. Streamwood surveillance tapes from two weeks ago. That's Charlotte Winston. I'm surprised no one saw this before. Yeah, well, unless they suspect a breach, they don't review the tapes regularly. It doesn't look like she broke the lock. No, she used burglar tools, and she's done it before. Professional? Well, your average Miss Lonely Hearts doesn't usually walk around with a bag of burglar tools. So your theory holds water? Yeah. Now I need to know your theory on this Marburg spreading. Is she some lunatic, or did she steal it to sell? Not to sell. The circle of people who are sick are too small for anything else to make sense. Yeah, but how are they catching it? My guess the seal on the stolen vial is faulty. It's leaking. Okay, so we know who took it and why. We just need to know who has it now. Yeah, and who they're selling it to. Stephen, hey. DNA test came back on Charlotte's baby. Who's the lucky father? The shooter. There's something else you need to look at here. We have proof you knew Charlotte Winston. What, did you check your crystal ball? Huh? She was eight weeks pregnant. We ran a DNA test. And you're not the father. But the guy that left you behind at the robbery? He is the father. That's not possible. DNA doesn't lie. But the father's a close relative. He's your partner. The guy you've been protecting. She was supposed to be your girl. Right, Harry? Do you know that she's here on a false passport, that her name isn't even Charlotte Winston? She loved me. Charlotte was my girl. Apparently not. How's the shooter related to you, Harry? He's my brother. My own damn brother. So all this time you've been protecting him? That's what brothers do, isn't it? Where is he? There's no point in holding back now. I don't know where he is. I really don't. Richard was always smarter, faster, better than me at everything. But Charlotte, I thought she was the one good thing I had that he didn't. Does he have the vial? Last I knew, Banks had it. Banks. Me, Richard, and Charlotte worked for him. He planned everything. We set up the jewelry heist, got Charlotte a job at the lab. We were his crew. Look, that vial is making people sick. 
Where is it? Lyles and Banks' apartment. Hit it in the wall. Some company was gonna pay a lot of money. Do you know when the deal's supposed to go down? At the pharmaceutical convention at the convention center. The last day. Hey, Connors, pal. Listen, I'm at the convention center now. Banks was gonna sell the vial to a visiting virologist. We know who's got the vial now? Well, it's gotta be Richard. Everyone else is dead or in the hospital. Well, the question is, which one of these guys is he selling it to? This convention's huge. There's hundreds of reps, dozens of companies from all over the world. Then we're gonna have to narrow the list. Rush has to make the sale before the convention ends tomorrow. Look, get a list of every rep and every company. We'll start with that. We're gonna work through the night if we have to. Work all night? Never done that before. <laughs> How's your girlfriend? Is she sick? Not yet. Maybe it's those. Voodoo magic. <clears throat> I never thought that Richard would really kill anyone. That guy didn't pull a gun. So it's his fault. No, that's not what I mean. Look, I never would have gone if I knew somebody was going to die. Bank said that no one was gonna get hurt. Somebody always gets hurt, man. I'm really sorry. About everything. Some more blood. Mm. He's bleeding out. We need to start in line. Give me a turn again. Is he gonna make it? Uh, he's losing blood faster than we can replace it. Take two years on that. Let's try it on. What are you doing? Let me sit with him. He's gonna die with people wearing rubber gloves. Just hold my hand. Harry, look at me. Oh, his pressure's oh, dropping. Get that crash cart in here. Harry, look at me. Look at me. I'm not going anywhere. Just look at me. It's wide open. Right here. Right here. Let me know where you're going. Hold my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They took Harry Rush to the morgue? Yeah, just a little while ago. And what? You cremate him? Dr. Connor said that's the safest thing to do. Carlos is gonna hate the idea of cremation. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Holly. But he's got the rash. The disease is progressing. And nobody else has beaten it. Uh, yes, I was waiting for your report. Great. Thank you. It's FBI. Charlotte Staples were manufactured in South Africa. South Africa? That means something? Yeah, it might. Yeah. The diamonds they stole, they just arrived from South Africa. The cops think the robbers were tipped at the source. What does that mean? It means Charlotte still has contacts there. So the buyer of the Marburg could be South African? I'm not sure, but I'm only part way through the convention reps. Look, tomorrow's coming fast. All right, so we focus on South African companies. All right, it's worth a shot. OK, give me half. It's after eight. 
rupture was coming? Yeah, when we interrogated the virologist, he said that Richard was insistent on meeting early. He's desperate to sell. He'll show. This Marburg must be worth a lot. Yeah, it's a Maltese falcon of viruses. It's all about greed. Nice job, by the way, finding the virologist for us. Once we targeted South Africa, BioCape just jumped up. They're under investigation for irregularities. Yeah, that's white collar speak for felony. Let's take our positions. Pristine. So it's not leaking. This isn't the source of the disease. Whatever spreading this thing is still out there. Our suspect's still out there. Spreading the disease. Richard Rush is the only one left alive who has any idea what the source of the Marburg is. Yeah. I faxed the fingerprints to Johannesburg, and I got a hit. Michael Banks and Charlotte Winston are South African. The real names are Lawrence Sinclair and John Sachs. So why'd they come here on false passports? They were escaping prosecution. They're wanted for uh, robbery, murder, gun running, smuggling. Let's see what they smuggled? Everything and anything with a profit margin. Guns, drugs, diamonds, antiques, exotic animals. Animals? Yeah, that explains the lion. I guess that's how Michael Banks got his start, an unhealthy interest in exotic animals. Well, that may be the source of the Marburg. Immigration said that nobody arrived from Africa with the disease, and it's not from a level four lab. So you think it's from a smuggled animal? Absolutely. So the question is where? Well, animals are usually smuggled in by boat. The safest way, less risk of detection. Well, that fits. It says that Michael Banks and Charlotte escaped custody on Banks' boat. I'm believing, right? A little. So it's just me. We don't know, Carlos. If you start to get better, the bleeding will stop. Or not. I'm gonna start you on some new blood. No, I should be with him. Dr. McCain. I wanna go in there. Ollie, we'll know more in a few hours. You're still not presenting. Let's not risk anything now. Please, I'm a paramedic. I know the rest. Miles. You can see her through the window. It's not enough. She's on the other side of a wall. Dr. McCabe, Carlos has been alone in this world his whole life. Okay? I don't want him to be alone now.
they let you in. Don't die, right? That's why you're here. I said I'm over. Oh, you dope. I want to be with you. I look okay in all this gear. <laughs> Got cops searching, but there's thousands of boats. Anything is an apartment with a boat sounding name on it? Yeah, you mean like a matchbook cover with a clue on it? You didn't breastfeed as a child, did you? Mm -mm. Here's the case file. Go for it. What's this? It's a list of personal effects from Banks's apartment. It's procedure when we bag evidence. What is it that you're looking for? A lot of times in my cases, the answer is right in front of you. Yeah. Like you think you're missing a piece of the puzzle and you're just not looking at the important things. Wait a second. There's no keys listed here. Everyone has keys. We went through everything. What about the pockets of his clothing? Everything. Every item. I can think of one item you probably missed. The clothes Banks was wearing when he died. The lion ate his keys. Well, he wasn't going to undress him first. There's something metal in there. Could be a set of keys. How long before they pass through his system? It's going to take a while. We don't have much time. We need to go in there now. Never operated on a line before. They were still in his upper intestinal tract. Well, as long as they weren't in his lower intestinal tract. Just normal keys, except for the one with the metal tag. B14 SL27. Does that mean anything? I think I know exactly what it means. Earth 14, ship lock 27. We could pinpoint the precise location through the harbor patrol. Everyone gloved and masked? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're ready. We got harbor patrol standing by. We got ESU. We're all set. I remember, this is a bloodborne disease. No contact with body fluids. It's going to be one weird takedown. Let's go! Over here. It's Richard Rush. He's dead. He bled out. Everybody needs to stay clear of this area, OK? Let's go check the cages. subject. You think that's the source? I won't know for sure till we get it back to the lab, but my guess, yeah. This is where the disease started.
I hear the monkey tested positive for Marburg. That was our source. Charlotte must have gotten sick from it and spread it to Harry and Richard. And then to Banks. And Banks to McDonald. That's how this all happens. How about Richard? He was out there a long time. He could have infected a lot of people. We're just going to have to wait and see. And hope. Carlos is doing better. Yeah, I figure he must be doing better. Nobody in there is wearing gloves. Yeah, he's turned the corner. He stopped bleeding. He's lucky. Holly, too. Must be from living right. Well, could be the crystals Holly brought. How do you do with Dr. Connor day in, day out? This coming from a homicide detective? Yeah, but my guys are dead. The suffering's over. I mean, why not be a GP? It's got to be a lot less stress. Why aren't you working traffic? Night, Detective Douglas. Good night. <laughs>